I'm thinking it might be time to actually invest in a camera. Okay. So, this video, I'm sorry, I'm eating a cough drop. Sorry, it's been sick, you know, whatever. I'm actually really excited for this video. So, obviously, tonight, Vladimir Tarasenko and uh, Nico Mikola will make their New York Rangers debut, but we still got like 20 something days before the trade deadline. So, are the Rangers really done? I guess it's contingent on a few things. Mostly if Vitaly Kravtsov can play well on that top, in the top two lines, or play one line, period. Um, if Vitaly Kravtsov fails to play well enough to remain in the top six, or anywhere in the lineup for that matter, I do believe the Rangers are going to explore more options. I actually believe part of the reason uh, Drury pulled the trigger on Tarasenko so early was because he wanted to see where the team would be at early, so it gave him some time to work up to the deadline. Um, obviously, the defense is pretty set, barring an injury, knock on wood, nothing happens. The fourth line... Mm, might see something happen there, especially with Goche. Um, clearly, Gerard Gallant does not like Julian Goche for whatever reason. And we also don't know how VZ's going to react to the fourth line. So, you know what? I'm talking too much. Let's just get into seven more New York Rangers trade deadline targets. And we're just going to leave it at that, all right? Is that simple enough? Boom. Everyone shut up, especially you, Nick. Boom. Option number one. Sam Lafferty. Do not be dissuaded by his JFresh card. Sam Lafferty's fast as fuck. 53.6% the faceoff. That would be tied. I'm sorry, would not be tied. Would be second on the New York Rangers. His 6.9, nice. Four. Hit, uh, hits per 60 would be 6th on the Rangers. His .9 penalties drawn per 60 is a weird stat, but trust me, it matters. Would be tied 5th on the Rangers. And he's also tied 2nd in the NHL in shorthanded goals. So, that would make him a what? Fast. Draws a lot of penalties. Hits. Wins face-offs. Ah! A good penalty killer, which you can never have enough of in the playoffs. I, personally, am a big fan of the Sam Lafferty option. Personally. And I do believe he has another year on his contract after this year, so you might have him for two years. Just saying. Throwing it out there. Does it have to be option number one? Because we know who option number one is. Tyler Mott. What do I need to say? Okay. His one, his 1.0, that dog in him per 60, would lead the Rangers. Is tied for first in the NHL. His 9.39 hits per 60 would be third in the Rangers. His 4.24 blocks per 60 would be third on the Rangers and first among forwards by a pretty okay margin. His 1.93 penalties drawn per 60 would be second on the Rangers behind only Julian Goche, but his net penalties drawn per 60. So in other words, how many penalties he has drawn versus taken per 60 leads the NHL by a large margin. Well, a slim margin of the guy in second place, Julian Goche, but a large margin after that. Tyler Mott is the obvious choice. He should be the easy choice, and he should be the only choice. But it's the NHL, so let's get through the last two. Remember, this is only for the bottom six. Derek freaking Broussard. Clutch player. The real Ranger fans know this. 0.8 penalties drawn per six would be seventh on the Rangers. 6.3 hits per six would be sixth on the Rangers. 50% of the face off thought would be second. Problem is, he has a lot of giveaways. Like, a lot. I think his giveaways to take to uh, takeaways ratio is two giveaways per one takeaway. Not very good. Granted, similarly when he was in Columbus, Broussard was kind of a mid player in Columbus, came to the Rangers and became a really good player. So maybe we could recapture that in his age thirty five or thirty six year how old he is now on Ottawa. Who knows? Would I love Derek Broussard back? Absolutely. But at the cost of Tyler Mott, no. No. Tyler Mott should be option number one. Broussard is an option number two to take a position spot as a 13th forward. Not a bad idea. After that, I'm good. And last but not least, Nick Bjugstad. 20 even strength points, actually a lot. Would be tied 9th in the Rangers. 7.51 hits per 6 would be 5th. 0.84 penalties drawn per 6 would be 6th. And, like Broussard, has a negative giveaways to takeaways ratio. So it gives away the puck a lot more than he takes it away. So you want my honest opinion? I'm going to pass on Bjorg Zed, and I'm going to stick with Tyler Mott. If the Rangers could make two bottom six options, uh, pick up two bottom six options, 
I would prioritize Tyler Mott and go to Sam Lafferty second, Broussard third, and probably avoid Bjorn Seth altogether. Slow, big, we've got enough of those. Speed kills in the playoffs, we learned that last year. Now, middle six options. I think this is pretty important. Because this, is if, this is if Vitaly Krasov does not pan out in the middle six. I'm afraid he won't. But, ah, man, it's a tough one. I feel really bad because I do want Vitaly Krasov to work so bad. But I also want the Rangers to win. And I want them to make the safe choice, which is to be acquiring somebody else. Let me show you who. Ivan Barbashev. This is who I want. I'm going to tell you why. His 21 even strength points would be ninth in the Rangers. His 2.31 takeaways per 60 would lead the Rangers. He's more takeaways than giveaways, obviously. His 7.58 hits per 60 would be sixth on the Rangers. I'm um, fifth on the Rangers, I believe, third amongst forwards. And his 1.23 penalties drawn per 60 would be third on the Rangers. Yeah, this guy would work out quite all right for us. And he's a low risk rental. Probably would not cost more than a couple middle round picks. I'm just saying. Max Domi. Mm. Really only has three good categories for me because his giveaways, his takeaways is awful. He takes a lot of penalties, but 55.8% in the faceoffs. Second on the Rangers behind uh, Trocek. Actually, that might lead the Rangers. I have to double check my math there or my uh, research there. 2.67 takeaways per six would lead the Rangers by a pretty large margin. That's a lot. That's a lot of damn takeaways. He also has a lot of giveaways and takes a lot of penalties. So I'm good. His 12.7 shooting percentage will be fifth. I am okay skipping over Max Domi. I love I love Max Domi. It's a cool thought. It's a cool idea. But he turns over the puck a lot. Even though he has a lot of takeaways, he turns it over a lot. And he takes a ton of stupid penalties. And he's useless defensively. We have enough defensive liabilities as it is. I think we can pass on Max Domi. And the final option, Andreas Athanasiu. He's fast as fuck. He can actually lead the Rangers in fast as fuck per 60. He's just fast. 2.71 takeaways per 60 would lead the Rangers by a lot. Gives away the puck a lot, too. Like, a lot. A positive ratio, but still a lot of giveaways. Andreas Athanasiu, I hate to say it, I could not see him fitting on any Rangers line. His giveaways would force the puck out of the hands of other Rangers players, like Zavanna J. Kreider, Panarin, Tarasenko, Kid Line, literally everybody, because of how often he gives away the puck. Um, his .72 penalty draw per 60 is good. It's 7th on the Rangers, but I'm going to be honest with you. Not good enough. If you want my honest to God opinion, I think the best acquisitions the Rangers can make post-Tarasenko and Mikola would be Tyler Mott and Ivan Barbashev if Vitaly Krasov does not pan out for that second line. You guys come to below. It's a very short video because I got to go finish my schoolwork before the Rangers game. Comment down below your guys' thoughts. Um... Did I miss an option? Which one of the options that I presented do you like? Which ones do you not? Do you agree with anything I've said? Do you disagree with anything I've said? Just comment down below. We'll chat. Hopefully there's no overtime reaction video tonight and the Rangers can just win in regulation. Man, I really got to get a new camera. This thing is not focusing on my face. Regardless, y'all comment down below. And um, let's go Rangers. Tarasenko and Mikola's debut tonight. Woo-woo. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm tired. Still got more to do.